What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Creepers and today I want to be teaching you guys on how to play with Ying. Uh, I played with Ying for a very long time myself, I like a lot playing with her, I believe that she's one of the best healers there is and uh, I just want to give you guys some tips and tricks, the cards that I use, the loadouts and etc. Teaching you guys how to improve your gaming with Ying. So first things first, let's talk about her abilities. First ability, and you can see here, is her illusory mirror. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'm still trying to get a little of, of the words right. Still, let's go. That's her normal attack, and it fires a continuous beam for a short period that deals 5 ticks of 90 damage over 0.2 seconds ever 0.5, effected up to medium range. Well. What this means is you have a very strong, very fast attack. You take a lot of damage really fast and it is completely amazing because in the old days you would take so long between shots and now this goes like really fast. So at least you can actually finish flanks that come after you and that is a big, big advantage. Second ability that I want to talk about is not Shatter, it's not Dimensional Link, it's her illusion. She's a support and the only way that she has to heal all the time without, ha without having to charge her ultimate is her illusions. And her illusions do heal quite a lot. They have been nerfed and now they don't heal as much, but it's a very strong, good way to heal because not only you can heal even if there's people like just trying to hide on a corner, you just leave a clone and you go into the battle. Uh, you also have the ability to use these clones as a bomb and that's where it, where shatter comes that you can press the ability to shatter and what it does is it sends those illusions that you created and at least the only ones who are alive and against the enemy by doing this you're pretty much gonna do damage because people will be forced to retreat because imagine a flank really close to die and suddenly a clone comes and right rushing at him like you're about to die. It is really good, really awesome, it helps push a little bit on the point and it is one of the best abilities that she has. Her third ability, beyond her normal attack of course, it is the dimensional link. For 4 seconds swap locations with the furthest illusion, if none are deployed it will take you into the location of the last active illusion. Now, what does this do? Well, basically, and you probably already know this, but I'm gonna tell you two or three things that you probably didn't know. I did a video on things that you probably didn't know on Paladins, and one of them was that you can actually save yourself from falling out of the map at the last second with Dimensional Link. That is not a lie, that is true. You basically, in the last second possible, just use Dimensional Link so you can go back into a previous location of an uh, illusion, of course. Do bear in mind that if you didn't create any illusions yet, it still works. And it, initially it will give you random locations because when you die, it resets the locations of the, of the illusions. Because imagine that you left an illusion in the middle of the map. You cannot just get out of the spawn after you die, use Dimensional Link, you automatically go to the middle of the map. It doesn't work like that. But it does work when you have your ultimate ready. Imagine you have Illusory Rift, which is the last ability below in the left, uh, and you just got out of the, the spawn. Just use your ultimate. Automatically you will be healing your teammates without even having to be near them. And just use Dimension Link, you will automatically teleport yourself near to your allies. What this means is you can actually go instantly into the point if there's somebody already there. Of course, if everybody is dead, there's no necessity on doing it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that players who are dead do not get the buff even after they got out of the spawn if you already activated the ultimate before they respawn. So that's that. Let's talk about her cards. First thing that I want to talk about is her three legendary cards. And there's only one that I use, but I think there's another one that is very good and then there's one that I don't use at all. I don't think that's good for me, I don't think that it's good for my type of gameplay and after I teach you guys on how I play, 
you will understand what I tried what I'm trying to say so the card that I always use is this one because believe it or not how many times have I put it a clone in the middle of the map and enemies thinking oh let me just destroy this so I can stop their healing and once they notice they took 500 damage to the face and somebody just comes rushing in and finishes that enemy off right well how about the opposite when somebody's really low and tries to destroy the, the, the clone or even the clone just ended up his time which is eight seconds and it blows up on his face I mean I don't even have to use shatter right and most of the times if you don't have this it will be really easy for the enemy team to just keep eliminating your clones even if they don't buy the item in the shop to destroy the deployables because yeah uh, the, the clones from Ying are deployables so be careful with that the second card that is acceptable but I never use is the focusing lens because it gives you extra damage believe it or not this helps you a lot because probably a lot of people won't know is that the damage you do with your normal attack actually raises your ultimate and for example if you do with a normal attack one that takes only one ammo uh, but you hit the, all the clicks in one specific enemy you can charge your ultimate up to four percent you also can charge your ultimate with your clones blowing up on the face of your enemies and it will give you extra charge if it hits several enemies and if you have two clones hitting several enemies it will increase your ultimate charge a lot more and also the clones healing will also charge your ultimate believe me or not her ultimate is one very good ultimate because it you can heal everybody without having to move without having to get out of the place where you are so that's the base thing you need to know her last legendary card which is the one that I don't use is this one because it takes 30% less of healing I mean if it was 15% even 20 I could consider it but 30% that's a lot I mean believe it or not she's not healing like 2,000 a second and if people have cauterized it's a complete change you know if they actually change this card and put it you can now put three clones but they heal like 20% or 30% less now that I would consider because I could put two on the point and use a, thir a third clone or somewhere else and actually use these three clones to make more damage so that's good of course the time wouldn't let it so probably that's a way that's why they don't do it now let me show you my loadout and let me show you what I want you to use okay this is the loadout I use and I'm gonna explain it to you really really quick I don't want to take a lot of time with this tutorial uh, first things first we have the left card which is dimensional link rewind 2 and what it does is swapping to the spot of a dead illusion spawns an illusion with 50% health this is very very critical and I will explain to you when I will go to the shooting range just so you can understand what I'm talking about then you have the normal illusion squadron 3 what this does it gives extra health to the illusions 300 I want that illusion to last a little bit longer probably this is just one attack by some so many champions but still that can make a difference trust me I've been I, some of my clones have been saved because of this card third card eliminations reduce all active cooldowns by two seconds now I've been thinking about changing something here and probably I will to test it and I want you guys to try it as well. I'm gonna take one point from the increased health of illusions and I'm gonna put it here. Because I will take three seconds of every single every single spell I have. So that's that's good. Then we have carry on three. Your illusions last three seconds more. So it, they will stay healing more. You will heal more. And the last one is activating shatter. It heals your illusions for 50% of their maximum health. There is a reason why I want this card with only two points and I will show it to you in just one second. So here we are at the shooting range and I'm gonna choose the resonance card. And I'm gonna choose our loadout right here, as you can see. And now I'm gonna tell you about the items you should buy. Well, one of the things I always buy with the um, Yang is cauterize because even if you're not around people, using the clones would allow you to do some you know stopping the healing from people who are trying to run away and the clones will do that for you so that's a very good thing even if you're not around people 
and for example they end up like destroying the clone or the clone that you left in the middle of the map actually just blew up you're helping your teammates because you're cauterizing them you're stopping their healing so this is one of the things that I usually buy the second thing I want to talk about is the yellow items I, I only buy one item with Ying and uh, I want you guys to understand why I buy this it's more of a boost because to me her ultimate is pretty pretty awesome and you charge it so fast with this you will charge it even faster and I'm gonna show you how much you can actually heal with this the second thing this is not something I usually buy because I can heal myself with the clones but it is kill to heal because some people will die with the clones blowing up and that's good now up here you already know my usual saying is buy the item that is more suitable for the, the other team because if for example you have a sort of a bomb king that is gonna stun you a lot. Use Brazilians. If you have a Janos that is gonna have a cripple with, um, you know, with the grip, with the void grip, Brazilians is it's your friend. Even a Torval that has the horizontal axe that also cripples. Again, resilience. Trust me, resilience is so good that you don't even understand. I still say that this should be like 400 and not 200 because it is so cheap and actually stops all of the cripples and etc. But still, let's not buy that. And now I'm gonna show you really fast. Let's show about the healing. The reason why I have the cards that um, allow me to leave a clone behind after I lose the use the that mention a link it's because of this so I'm gonna put it here a clone and it's gonna start healing Fernando here and then I'm gonna put another one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow them up just send the damage over there and I just recreated two clones right here one two and these clones are gonna be healing and then I just press it again and I have a secondary attack so believe me or not you're gonna be able to have like four clones in less than probably like two three seconds unfortunately i didn't use dimensional link very well there but still you get the point there that's why i want you guys to use that card now i also wanted to show you something and i have to go back there really really fast um and what i wanted to show you is her healing with the ultimate so let's just put a secondary on here and let's use her ultimate look at this healing they can kill him okay then. it eventually runs off and as you can see here she heals good but not enough to actually save somebody from taking damage that's why I want the ultimate because the ultimate allows me to save people okay even if they have cauterized, some of the times this will help a lot. Now, as you can see, for the damage, and if you look down there at my at my ultimate charge, it charges pretty neat, pretty fast. So that means I'm gonna have more ultimates to put. And not just that, uh, something that a lot of people don't know is you're playing as a support, which means you're gonna get more experience by actually healing and the ultimate allows you to heal everybody in the map for a short period of time. If you have a lot of ultimates to use, like right now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to... Let me just do something really fast here. So we're gonna blow that up. She's dead. And now we have two more clones and as you saw there they healed for 50% of their normal life and they went to kill the enemy so as you can see here she's not too hard to use but you have to use it as um, you have to be smart when you use it okay so in case you're taking damage and you really need to survive at the last second use that dimensional link because not just that you will leave a clone behind and they will take the damage as you saw there I just managed to do damage really fast I didn't manage to use the ultimate at the time as you can see here my ultimate is working right now but since Fernando was dead it doesn't work 
So guys, there's not really much to show you to to you. It's just this, okay, you can use your clones as damage, do as much damage as possible, put as much as much as amount of clones you can. If somehow they manage to kill your clones, just use Dimensional Link to recreate two really fast clones to heal people. And if you see somebody with really low health, kill them because that can help a lot. So guys, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my loadout. I want you guys to test your loadout. If you think there's something you need to change, change it. There's no problem. That's with you, okay? Um, get a grip of how she attacks. Okay, the range, as you can see here, after this much it doesn't work. And you can actually do like this to actually do some damage by it really far away. Just keep spawn, keep spamming those clones there. Then just, if you see that they're about to die, just do this and recreate the clones. As you see, there are two clones, 100% health, boof, extra damage. Unfortunately, there's only one thing that I want to tell you guys. Apparently, you don't have extra damage for headshots, so forget about that. So guys, that's all for the video. I don't want this video to be too long, and I just told you two or three tips that you need to know, the loadout and the abilities themselves, what items to buy. I think this is very a very good guide for you guys to learn with play how to with Ying. And trust me, Ying is a very good healer. If I have the ability to actually play with her every single game, I would. Unfortunately, I always tend to go for the champion that it's needed the most. Like for example, there's no frontline, then I'll go as a frontline. I won't go as a healer with going two healers and no frontline, that makes no sense. And as I said, uh, to get more experience, to get more experience you need to heal more and having more ultimates like this will heal a lot. As you can see there, it heals a lot and saves a lot of people, trust me. I hope you guys enjoyed, that's all for the video today. I'll see you guys in my next video and if you have a suggestion of what champion I should do a tutorial next, just leave me down in the comments below. I will do Androxus next and after that I'll just go with the way you guys think that it's better, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video and until then, peace! I'm out!